Hi, I'm Steve Moriarty from moregems.com and today we're going to do a little bit of gem testing. Uh, supposedly garnets are magnetic and I've never used it as an identification tool so we've got a little setup here. I've got my assistant with me and uh, we're going to try and see how the magnet does affect garnets and I have a few other stones to see if it affects those also. So this is our setup, just a string and a piece of dental uh, wax. You know, if you set this up, you want to make sure that what you set up is not magnetic. And, you know, although it seems to move a little bit, it, it really is not uh, uh, magnetic. So whatever we test will be tested accurately. So let's get started and uh, we'll take uh, our first stone, which is a piece of Savorite Garnet Rough. Stick it on there. Let it slow down a little bit. Yeah. And we'll see what the magnet does. And as you can see, it is somewhat magnetic. Not strongly magnetic, but definitely magnetic. So that's a Savorite garnet. And let, let's do a, a stone that is similar, which is a chrome tourmaline. You could confuse these and see if it's magnetic, which it doesn't seem to be magnetic. So you could separate a uh, chrome tourmaline and a savorite uh, using magnetism. Interesting. Here's a big rhodolite garnet. Definitely magnetic, stronger magnetism. So a lot of garnets have iron in them, and I'm assuming that's uh, what we're dealing with here. Next up is a spessartite garnet. Definitely magnetic. The uh, pyro, almondines, and spessartite seem to be more magnetic than the um, savorite, which is a grossular garnet. Next up is a color change garnet. Definitely strongly magnetic. Another Grashiller Marilani Mint Garnet. Hmm, interesting. So the Savrite Garnet was magnetic and the Marilani Mint Garnet is not. Curious. Um, Maybe I better do some more testing on this garnet. And we'll try another non-garnet, which could, this is a, a morganite, could be confused with malayas. And not magnetic. Uh, next up is an antail garnet, a uh, pretty pure pyrope. And another magnetic. So 
So I wonder whether the degree of magnetism, whether you could actually identify the species of garnet that it is. Did we do the specertite? I'm not sure. And the specertite garnet, highly magnetic. The Mahenge garnet, again, magnetic. Hessenite garnet, another Groschler. Huh, yeah, a little, very little bit magnetic. Let's see if I can get these demantoids. I only have small ones. See if we can get those on here and see if they'll test. And definitely magnetic. Maybe the strongest of them all <laughs> for such little stones. Highly magnetic. Uh, one other thing I wanted to try was uh, a mounted piece. So we have a umbelite pyrope almondine garnet. Let's see if we can test it. And it does work. So you can test some jewelry, which always is more difficult to test. So this might be a, a good test for mounted garnets. And I have one other stone that could be confused. Get these little demantoids off here. And this is a pink sapphire. And not magnetic. So this seems to be a useful test. Curious about this Barilani mint again. See if there's any magnetic to it. See as the Hessenite was only slightly magnetic. Yeah, it's moving just a little bit. Just very slightly magnetic. So it's an interesting uh, gemological test that we can use and uh, as we can see it can be used on mounted or loose. Uh, I'll have to do a little more testing on all gems and and see what uh, what it works on and what it doesn't. You know you have things like um, aquamarine which have iron in them and I assume they may be magnetic. We'll have to do a little further testing and see just this what, what this will separate and whether there's any used to how magnetic they are you know is it uh, you know could you go yeah it goes 90 degrees so that's a you know a spessor tight garnet or you know so it's interesting test and uh, I'm glad you sat here to watch it with us and hopefully that'll help you gemologists out there with your gem identifications if you have any comments leave them in the comment section and if you would like to watch any more of our educational videos, please like and subscribe.